Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family. In this video, I will share exactly uh, what I love most about living in Costa Rica. Uh, also, from the point of view, being for a couple of weeks in the Netherlands, I have been a Costa Rica expat since five years now. Together with my husband and two kids, we moved to Costa Rica 2018. I'm currently here for five weeks in the Netherlands. Um, and I think that I have a beautiful view on my life from a distance now in Costa Rica, you know, looking at my life in Costa Rica from where I left to Costa Rica. I think that could be a very interesting video for those thinking about moving to Costa Rica, not quite sure yet. Um, so yeah consider to watch my video to the end you might pick up a couple of um yeah a couple of insights and um, to helping you to make the best decision for you uh who am i and why i'm making these videos um well learn more about it right here already considered to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon you can do that by tapping that little icon and by hitting the bell you get notified every time i upload new videos always costa rica related and for those interested in working online like i do uh, anything is possible just reach out to me or follow the description below my videos and uh, learn more so yeah what what is the best according to me eh, as my 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 vision my point of view um, my opinion about living in Costa Rica uh, compared to living in a big city in, in Europe, in the Netherlands. Um, I miss the small town living. <laughs> and I'm not saying if you move to Costa Rica, you must live in a small town, but I prefer to live in a small town. Um, I, live, I live on a property, five and a half acres uh, with space. So what I noticed here in The Hague, you can look it up. It's um, the government city of the Netherlands. It's a concrete jungle. There's big buildings, there's paved roads, there's concrete roads, many, many cars, parkings. There is no wildlife here. There is concrete jungle. I miss my mango trees. I miss my dogs running around here. When I walk with Dirk's mom's dog, by the way, I am staying in this amazing house of Dirk's mom. Um, she has a house with us. She has a house here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful street, beautiful uh, neighborhood. But if I walk her dog and the dog poops on the street, I need to pick up the poop. My dogs, they run around on my own property. They poop in the bush. <laughs> I don't see it. I, that's really what I love about my life living in the Netherlands, uh, in Costa Rica compared to the Netherlands. But also the culture is so different. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same comparison to make, you know, when you are from another country than I am. I'm from the Netherlands, but Dutch people are so punctual and I love it. You know, in a way I am an online coach, a business coach. I am not late for appointments, right? I strive to be on time. But in Costa Rica, in life, sometimes stuff gets in the way. You have a roadblock, cows on the road, um, the road is blocked, um, anything could happen. Like wires of electricity poles could fall on the on the road. That People are late in Costa Rica, like everywhere, but here it happens a lot but people are so relaxed about it and people are more 
relaxed about basically Ticos, I must say. Ticos are overall more laid back people. They are non-confrontational. Here I noticed so much tension. I was in the gym, it was very busy, and someone just pushed her stuff towards me to show I want to be there, I want to stand on your spot. Instead of just saying, hey, you know, we can join all together. And it's less, I experience less tension in, uh, in Costa Rica amongst Ticos combined to living in a big city here in the Netherlands. That's basically also one of the reasons why I wanted to move to Costa Rica, the laid, the laid backness uh, of the Tico culture. Of course, it's different wherever you are in Costa Rica. If you live in a big city in San Jose, in a big crowded neighborhood, of course, you probably experience the same big city things as I experience here. But yeah, the space, the nature, I really miss my, miss my mango trees. I miss just opening up my gate and closing it behind me. See my palm trees and space and just see no one. And I think, you know, Costa Rica doesn't have so many people uh, compared to the Netherlands or other countries. Now, yes, I do agree if you're saying, but Costa Rica is getting more crowded. That's true. In a lot of areas like uh, Santa Teresa, Montezuma area, yeah, it's expanding. Many expats are moving there. Yes, it's getting more crowded. Yes, the stress is, is rising up as well. But still, there's so many spots. It's so much more countryside-ish. Uh, it's still so much ju more jungly. It's not to compare with this concrete jungle here. So, yeah, that's what I love most about living in Costa Rica. Being literally surrounded with green, with animals, hearing the monkeys, hearing the, um, the macaws and all kinds of creatures, the geckos and the tropical feeling. And of course, it sounds cliche, but... It's it is a it has a reason why I came for five weeks in in the month May and June because it's summertime in Netherlands. I'm wearing the same my favorite dress that I wear in in uh, in Costa Rica, same type of clothes. But what is this? A blanket? Yes, it's evening. It's summertime and it's still chilly here. I miss the warmth. I rather have the heat of 35 degrees and just sweating out of my pants <laughs> then just sitting with cold feet chilly needing a vest or a jacket when i go outside and meeting friends and in 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 the you know out, outdoors sitting on the terrace in a restaurant yesterday i was freezing in the restaurant outdoors on the terrace so so i needed a blanket or a jacket which i didn't have with me so yes, I miss it. High temperatures are really, and of course, if you don't, if you cannot stand the heat, you can live in in Monteverde in the higher situated places in Costa Rica. You can live in Central Valley in the area around San Jose. You know, it's more cooler there. But for me personally, living in Costa Rica is just being surrounded by warmth, by the sun, and even when it's rainy season, it's warm here. When it's rainy season in October, November, oh. It's so cold and wet and you no. I really, really miss my home for that reason. And I am really enjoying my, t my family time here in the Netherlands. And that's also the reason why I have not made a lot of content. My apologies and thank you for understanding. I really prioritize my family time. And it also took it like a filling up my battery time. Um, the the fact is that my youngest child and my oldest child, I have two, wanted to see each other. My oldest child just uh, spread her wings and uh, decided to stay in the Netherlands for a while to see where she feels home the most. Uh, and if you want to learn more about how Costa Rica, moving to Costa Rica is for teenagers, I will just put here a plug-in or something that you can click on. An interview that I did the previous time I was in the Netherlands. Uh, where I interviewed my daughter. And I know a lot of expat wannabe have the, uh, wannabes have the dilemma whether to stay where you are or go to Costa Rica because of the children. But there are options. I think that you can just go and move to Costa Rica. 
So, yeah, so I think that I cover the most important point for me personally. And of course, that will be different from person to person. And um, no matter I do, do feel like a Dutch person, because I'm Dutch, I speak the language, I feel more at home in Costa Rica. It just stole my heart. And uh, my final tip that I want to give in this video is that the best way to decide for you how Costa Rica is to live for you is to just go there and just take the leap. If you fell in love with Costa Rica like I did back a couple of years ago, you know, don't be the person who thinks at his or her deathbed, what if I just had done it? And not think now, oh, I wish I did. Why didn't I do it? Um, so don't, re don't have regrets later. You can always Go back where you come from. If Costa Rica to live is not for you. Um, some people have told me, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You know, you earn your money online. But a lot of people just, you know, have to organize a lot. But with jobs and stuff. Or, But I think it's the same choice for everyone. You can make it as complicated as you like, basically. We kept it very simple and figured out a lot on our way while living in Costa Rica. And I'm not saying it's the great, perfect country for everyone. I'm not even saying Costa Rica is the perfect country to live in. I'm just saying I love Costa Rica to live. I truly miss it. I cannot wait to count down the days to just fly home and to get back to Tico country, to Tico land and uh, just see my animals, my husband, my friends, the ocean and my small town living. I love it. I'm a big city girl, but I loved small town living. So yeah, just share your thoughts. Um, at least was it beneficial and uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Um, I have a couple of things to do here. I will organize also now I am here an event coming Sunday, not tomorrow, but a week after for my Dutch students. I'm an online business coach. I teach people to build a business online, not just for Dutch people, but for people all over the world. Um, and I work online, I coach online. If you're interested in that, basically how I'm able to create the freedom to travel to the Netherlands, go back to Costa Rica, basically earn wherever my laptop is or where I am or choose to be, discover how that can work for you. Go to the description below my video to learn more. And uh, I want to thank you for all your time watching this video and looking forward to meeting you one day in Costa Rica. Bye for now.